Not all old time and medieval and post medieval punishments involve pain, torture, misery, and execution, although this sort of qualifies for misery, but it's not exactly a torture instrument. These things are often mislabeled as scolds, bridles, or branks of punishment. That's not what this is at all. This is known as a shame mask. In the 16th, 17th, and even early 18th century across parts of Europe, such as Germany and Switzerland, they used these for people that had committed minor infractions in the village. Uh, suppose baker down the street. You don't get along with the baker and you suddenly say, well, you know, his loaves are a little bit light or he's not, you know, cooking as well, his food's terrible. Back then, that was a serious offense. Basically, it meant that he would lose business, his family could starve. So to be punished for that, since you are also a valued member of the community as a bricklayer, say, they wouldn't do anything physical to you, but what they would do is put you in something like this. And you'd have to parade yourself through the streets of the town wearing an object like this. It's called a shame mask. They've sometimes been called masks of infamy, but really, shame mask is the correct term. And in this one, you see exactly what would have been done to a person that was a gossip. Notice on the front of these, it has these pointed teeth, and these are meant to imply venomous fangs of a snake. For instance, anything that comes out of your mouth, it implies is pure poison. Here you've got the long tongue, the sloping tongue. That means you're constantly mouthing off, wagging your tongue about somebody, and it's usually not good business. So this thing here, locked on your head, you're not getting it off, and you look like a complete idiot in front of everybody in the village. In this illustration, we see two women wearing shame masks, and they're different, but they both imply that these two people have been gossips. You have something protruding from the mouth, or you have maybe large ears, which would symbolize that you heard everybody's business all around you, and you had no problem spreading it with your mouth. These were used on not only women, though, but also on men. Speak out of turn, slander somebody locally, talk behind someone's back, you'll find yourself locked in a stupid looking mask of iron. But you learned your lesson. In a community where everybody knew everybody else, you never wanted to be seen wearing one of these again. Till next time on Relics from the Dark Side, I'm Steve Santini.